Hello everyone, welcome back to High Mathematics. Today we have an interesting limit. What is the limit as x approaches to 5 of the function x squared minus 7x plus 10 all over x squared minus 25? What we're going to do in our case? On the first side, we can use a direct substitution, so let's do this. We will have 25 minus 35 plus 10, it will be 0. And in our denominator, we will have the same thing, 25 minus 25, it will be equal to 0. So we will have 0 over 0. As you know, 0 over 0 is undefined, so we don't know what the value that you present. So what are we going to do in our case? x minus 5 give us undefined answer. So we, can, we need to factor out this x minus 5 from denominator and from denominator. Take a look. In our denominator we have quadratic equation. So we have x squared minus 7x and plus 10. We know the roots to this quadratic equation. x first will be equal to 2 and x second will be equal to 5. So as a result we can write this quadratic equation as x minus 2 times x minus 5. Of course if you multiply this we will have the same thing as right here. So this will be our nominator. What we're going to do in our denominator is you can see this 25 can be written as 5 square, so as a result we will have a difference of squares. Nothing hard. So we will have in our denominator we will have limit x approaches 5 and in our denominator we will have a classic formula a square minus b square but instead of a will be x and instead of b will be 5. So difference of squares x minus 5 times x plus 5. And in our denominator we will have this thing x minus 2 times x minus 5. And it's a really good case because as you can see this x minus 5 and this x minus 5 we can cancel. This expression gives us an identify answer, so it's really good to cancel it. And as a result we will have the limit x approaches 5 of the function x minus 2 all over x plus 5. And it's a real good moment to use a direct substitution right here because we cancel the expressions that give us an identify answer. So let's do this direct substitution to have a nominator 5 minus 2 will be 3 and to have a denominator 5 plus 5 will be 10. 3 over 10. And this is our answer. I hope you all understand this. Nothing hard, just write this quadratic equation you then the another way as a product of two parentheses and write a formula difference of squares. And this is our answer. If you have any question, if you have any suggestion, write a question in a comment. It will be really interesting to read it. Subscribe for more videos. I really appreciate it. If you like high mathematics, metrics, like limits, integral, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos.